Let's turn up the heat with Top That Trey. Joining us now, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Uckman, an options trading pro. Here we go, guys, with our trader game, round number one. Score more. Barclays predicts there could be a 65% chance of a market melt up. Are you ready for a hot summer? Summer stocks make me feel fine. No one on my jam, man. But you know what? I'll tell you, this is the, the best of times, the worst of times for market prognosticators. It depends on who you read. I feel sorry for the general public out there. You know, we have JP Morgan calling for, you know, the stock market to crash. We've got Barclays calling right. for a melt up Morgan, in the Morgan market. Stanley. What are you going to do? Don't right. listen to them. Just tune in the There's show. always we'll opportunity. Tell you what to There's do. Always, There's opportunity. always opportunity. Markets go up, markets go down. Bottom line is listen, we've had the. We're still around. We're we're still, still here. Out. We're still here, and nobody thought and you've that been would here. ever happen. You've been here for a nobody while. Nobody thought would ever happen. A lot longer. I was here, yes, a long time. And round number two, grain game. Apparently, there's tortilla trouble happening. What's your better buy? Yum Brands, which owns Taco Bell, or Kellogg? Listen, this is unbelievable, the shortage of tortillas. This is the biggest problem that Yum Brands <laughs> has. This is unbelievable. Taco Bell is running out of shelves. I, I know, I'm kidding you. You know, and why is it only Taco Bell? Well, you know, what about, you know? I know they must not have like had, Chipotle or didn't something. sign enough forward contracts. But anyways, I right. gave this question to you because you're the yeah. grain guy. You're yeah. the commodity guy. Right. So how could that happen, number one? And we're not even... I mean, just what? Ha let's see if the yields come in low this year. Then we're gonna have big taco problems next year. Well, you know, this is a bottom line. Are you here. a flour tortilla or a we, corn tortilla? I, I, I like them both. But you know, the bottom line is when we start talking about the tortilla market, what's been happening in grain markets? We've had unprecedented news story. We've had floods. We've had famine. Seriously, and of course, we have the U.S.-China trade war that probably caught. Uh, Yum Brands, which is an international brand, you know, off guard a little. All right, let me get to Kellogg's. All right, Kellogg's, I thought was an opportunity. I still think it's an opportunity, even before I read deeply into this. Just looking for at it technically, that's made this nice little bottom base. It made lows just a couple weeks ago, and it's got a PE around 13 or 14. So I'm always looking for stocks that haven't participated in the rally. And Kellogg's is a brand, and it's down about 20% this year. Compared to that to a Dow, it's kind of like a Dow stock, um, but it's not in the in the index. But it's a you know old school stodgy stock so i like it as opportunity but then i found out they own this meat alternative meat country right company. that's been around for a long time yeah and and the they management can... why isn't the management taking advantage of it? right so you like this stock do you like the management are they well, the somebody can unlock it somebody so beyond meat is, right. is right now pricing at 50 times sales right if morning morning star brands based on the numbers they do if they got half of half of that that would be worth five billion itself right there for the ipo so kellogg's itself is only worth 18 billion so boom they got like free money in their pockets they don't even know about so you the bottom line is and, and they they talked to the management over there and they didn't seem to know that they had this hot thing are they yeah. not reading hello. the papers hello <laughs> round number three zero zone news is out that there could be a negative three percent earnings growth this time around are you yearning for earnings and whenever I hear, oh my gosh, your earnings season is going to be terrible, what happens? The market rallies because they all beat expectations. So bad news can be good news. Because it if it's bad, then we can continue to lower interest rates, which we're going to do once. Right. We're going to do a quarter point. That's price in the market. We're not getting a half point. Oh, you think so? I never thought so. Okay, well then. I do I think we might get two rate workers. cuts, so in the future, because right. they want to that get will total, back. That'll total up half a percent. That'll get back the one that but they cut in the December. But these, these will be the first December. rate cuts we've seen since the financial crisis. Let's take it to our bonus round question for today. Can you name the number one fast food chain? Is it Panera, McDonald's, or Chick-fil-A? I want to say I Pandora. Panera, I mean. Panera. Panera. I'm going to say Panera Bread. Oh, guys, the answer was Chick-fil-A. Oh, oh, man. Oh, no. man. All right, come on. I know, I know. Such a great and I'm company, the And I'm the too. chicken expert. And I'm the chicken expert. Yeah, the chicken expert today got Chick-fil-A. Cluck, cluck. <laughs> they Chick-fil-A'd you, buddy. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.